What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jarrell, a.k.a. Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk. And today I'm here to discuss a potential fight between Canelo Alvarez and Joshua Clotty. Uh, I know the name Clotty uh, is surprising to many as far as him being in um, you know, top consideration to get a Canelo Alvarez fight um, for December. Uh, he's coming off of a big victory, an impressive victory over Anthony Mundane in Australia, which happens to be Mundane's home country. Uh, he knocked him down five or six times, um, eventually knocked him out, I think, in the ninth round. I may be wrong, but it was definitely an impressive uh, performance on Clyde's hand, uh, on his end. Uh, he was more aggressive. He was more offensive-minded um, in this fight, um, and we're not accustomed to seeing that. And that was a breath of fresh air to see, you know, Clyde, you know, he's been, he hasn't been as active, you know, since his, uh, the Manny Pacquiao fight debacle where he just embarrassed himself. He didn't show up. He made all kind of crazy excuses to why he performed um, so bad uh, in his post-fight interviews. And it left a bad taste in the um, fight fan's mouth. But he's a very talented fighter. You cannot deny that. Um, he's a good defensive fighter. Uh, he's a good offensive fighter when he puts his mind to it and wants to be active. You know, he has a good skill set. and He can definitely cause Canelo problems. But Canelo will be the uh, big favorite going in, and rightfully so. Uh, Canelo's the younger, fresher fighter, more power, naturally bigger guy, good hand speed, and he's on a um, hot streak now. You know, ever since you know his first defeat at the hands of Floyd Mayweather, uh, he hasn't lost since. He's beat Alfredo Angulo and Ares Landy Lara. Um, both fights, you know, the fight with Angulo was one side, and he was impressive. He he came out with a um, uh, with bad intentions, and he looked he looked to make a statement, in which he did. Lara, the fight the fight with Lara was extremely close, could have went either way, but he did enough to get the victory. Uh, and you know, for him to fight Claudio is not the most appealing and exciting fight, but I will watch it because boxing is you know one of the most un you know exciting sports around, and you always get the unexpected, you know. So. For for Clyde to get the chance to redeem himself and put on an excellent performance and become, you know, a, a junior middleweight champion or the junior middleweight champion of the world uh, would be big for him and would be a great accomplishment on his end. Uh, but there are also other two other names that are being thrown out there that I would prefer to see over a Clyde fight, and that's Demetrius Andrade. I think he's a WBO a junior middleweight champion, as well as James Kirkland. The always exciting and fun to watch uh, brawler from Houston or Austin, Texas. Um, he's a big puncher. He's aggressive. Uh, he, he presents uh, problems for, you know, Canelo. But Demetrius Andrade is the most dangerous fighter out of the three, in my opinion. He's tall, athletic. He has fast hands, very good boxing skills. He can switch from southpaw to orthodox. Um, he has, you know, good power, and he's all around very talented fighter, who's itching for that big opportunity to face the big names, whether it's Canelo, Floyd Mayweather, Arizona Lara, you name it. He he wants those guys, and he's been calling for the fights with these guys. He's saying he's the best, um, 154 pounder in the world, and he wants to prove that. But according to Joe DeGuardi, uh, Joshua Clotty's promoter, you know, they're in the early stages of negotiations to uh try to, you know wrap up uh, a deal for Joshua Clotty to face Canelo Alvarez in December on the network to be determined. Uh, I know that's kind of surprising to people, but ever since the, you know, Bob Arum and Oscar De La Hoya has ended the, you know, Cold War, so to speak, um, and they're on better working um, terms, you know, he could go back to, you know, um, HBO. He's also not with Al Heyman, so that's another reason why you shouldn't be so shocked because, Canelo Alvarez is not uh, managed by Al Heyman, but Showtime is still in the picture. They still could come back and, and offer him something better than uh, Al B, HBO, but it's looking like he will be going back to HBO and not just HBO. Um, no pay-per-view would be regular HBO, so it would be a world uh, championship boxing um, card, I pr I'm pretty sure, um, because he's a household name now, and he's graduated from boxing out the dark. And, you know, hopefully... Uh, a fight with Demetrius Andrade is made, but if Claudia is made, I definitely tune in because I'm a boxing fanatic and I love boxing. And Claudia presents challenges. Claudia has a chance, like I said, to redeem himself to become the lineal middleweight champion. I know some people throw that to um, Floyd Mayweather, but he doesn't really fight 
uh, consistently in the 154 pound division, but it's you know to each his own. Everyone has an opinion, but I feel that uh, Canelo Alvarez is the best junior middleweight in the world currently. Um, but there's definitely fighters that can um, make a claim that they they you know they should get a shot at him and, and that they're also the best. But Canelo Alvarez, Joshua Clavi, uh in play for December on the network to be determined. What are your thoughts on this? Like I said, it doesn't you know get my blood boiling to where I'm overly excited, but it, it has it has my interest. It mainly has my interest, and in, you know Canelo is a big star. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, with them um, working together at top rank, HBO, uh, Golden Boy, you know, the undercard will be stacked. So I'm hoping it goes back to uh, HBO just because top rank can mix and match their fighters um, and put on the undercard. And we can start to see a bright future of, of great fights finally happening between Golden Boy fighters and top rank fighters. So what are your thoughts on this potential fight um, between Canelo Alvarez and Joshua Clotty? Do you think it'll be a competitive fight? Uh, would you prefer to see... Canelo Alvarez face Demetrius Andrade or James Kirkland? Or do you think, you know, um, he, he's doing the right thing by, you know, taking on a, a tough fight, but not too tough of a fight that, that could mess up a potential fight with Miguel Cotto? Um, in the comment section below, leave your comments. Don't forget to like, um, comment, and subscribe to Colossal Boxing Talk. And head over to Facebook and like our uh, Colossal Boxing Talk um, page. Um, follow us on Twitter at ColossalCBT. I'm a bit cool. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.